I'm going to be talking today in this masterpiece video how to separate good layers from bad layers. Why do you need to separate good laying beds from bad laying beds? The answer is simple. You're running a profitable poultry farm, not a charity farm, right? The benefit of having a layer capacity in a 5,000 layer capacity farm like this, like Nemo Farms Farm, is for the purpose of getting eggs. And if those eggs are not there, then you are really not running a profitable farm, you are really running charity. So it's important that you understand that a good laying bird farm is directly proportional to the number of eggs that you find. And if you don't have good layers, then you are not going to have a profitable farm. So I advise all farmers wherever I get to that they must learn when their birds are laid to be able to separate a good laying bird from a bad laying bird because that's very very important i'll be telling you three things you need to look out for when you want to separate a good laying bird from a bad laying bird first in a battery cage system like this we have two type of uh system maybe three but two prominent ones there's a battery cage system there's a deep litter system in my subsequent video i'll be telling you more about the deep litter system but this is a battery cage system you pay attention to the number of birds in a cubicle this is a unit of battery cage, but this is one cubicle. Now, in this cubicle, pay attention to the number of eggs that you can see. You can see one, two, three eggs, and you can see one, two, three birds. It means that, invariably, the number of eggs and the number of birds tally. It could be two, it could be three, it depends, but it can be one at the end of the day. Because if you have three beds and you constantly have one egg, it means that something is wrong with one or two of the beds that are here. So we have it accurately here. But pay attention, let me look out for... Alright, so look at this cubicle. There are four beds here and there are one egg. And this is almost like the closing hour of the day. If you have four beds and you are constantly having one egg, there's something wrong. It means that one or two beds here have a potential of not being a good layer and we will, you will together with you we will figure out what is wrong and how we can fix it. So uh, bring your camera close. <laughs> Notice this bed I'm about to bring out carefully because you have to bring them out carefully they are already laying back. Notice the comb and then the wattle. They are really very prominent they are bright red so from every indication there's nothing really wrong with this bed. Notice the comb, notice the water. I also want you to pay attention as a farm manager to the keel bones directly beneath the anus. The keel bone of every good laying bed, your two fingers should be able to enter in between successfully. So in between the two keel bones, you will notice some protruding bones uh, by your right and by your left. My two fingers can enter confidently and even my three fingers sometimes for a very good laying bed. Uh, but for bad laying bed, your two fingers will not be able to enter in between the two keel bones comfortably. But this, I can enter, my two fingers can enter in between the two keel bones conveniently. And then of course you notice the comb and the water. Uh, I'm going to draw your attention to another, oh fantastic, look at this. Look at this. Can you compare, can you compare these together? Now look at the comb and water for this and look at the comb and water for this. If you notice that this is shorter, this is uh, uh, maybe less developed and even not as bright as this. There's every indication, uh, let me release this so that I don't stress it too much uh, uh, because it's a laying bird. So there's every indication that this is not a good laying bird. Uh, so again, look at the keel bones. Ah, I told you, my two fingers cannot conveniently enter in between the two keel bones because I'm suspecting that this is not a good laying bed. Pay attention to also the weight. I'm not sure with, this bed is so light, so light. Either it's not eating or the bed is sick. That's why you cannot find enough egg in this cubicle. So uh, the weight of every bed should be a minimum of 1.8 kg for them to be good layers. But I'm not sure if this would be up to one kg. So what do you need to do? When you pay attention to the number of eggs laid per cubicle, you pay attention to their pumps and water, 
I'm separate the ones whose cone and wattle are not properly developed. You pay attention to the cue bones. Uh, it, it's a tight cue bone. This one is more well, uh, uh, more open, and my two fingers can enter. It's now the responsibility of every farm manager to separate these kind of beds from the entire flock for two reasons because you are keeping them in your flock you're keeping this type of bed in your flock it's contributing to the total number of beds you have in this farm but it's, pro it's not producing and if you notice at the end of the day your percentage production will be lesser because of quality of this bed so my advice for farmers is that go around your flock and pick out birds that are not good layers. Separate them. Call a veterinarian to help you diagnose what to be wrong or what to be right. Once you do that, separate these birds, put them in a separate seed bay compartment, and ensure you focus all your attention on the ones that are healthy so that you can feed less and then you can have more eggs. I hope this video uh, is useful for you. Click on the subscribe button if you have not done so. Click a thumb up if you learned anything new from this video and let's keep in touch. Thank you.